Um, wait a minute, why am I here? Oh, Doug. Right, Doug. Right, Doug. Um, God, what is Doug like? Wasn't it just Onigiri? Can I see what it is? No, because I don't. I erased it. I bothered when I was in the bathroom. I bothered to look up Misa, but I didn't bother to remind myself on what Doug's was because I was like, "Oh no, I'll remember it." It is Onigiri. What the heck? Oh, there he is. Awesome! I like this stuff, thanks! Okay, hello. Weather as nice as this makes me want to have a picnic outside. What about you? We sent the ribbities running. Heard you lost your memories. Huh, yeah. Really? We had that conversation. Oh man, I feel so much better. Okay. So what all do we have left? Okay, we have Boyfriend, Reinhardt, Terry, uh, Martin, Meg, Morikumo, Misa, Cecil, Riker, and that's it. And that'd be it. Okay, so let's go see Terry. Because he's on the way. Might as well do the cold uh, medicine check test thing. Um. Oop, wrong door. Okay. I never know how much is too much or too little to be doing with the music here. Hey, oh, it's been a while. Just came for a chat. Keep your eyes peeled for any strange goings on on Christmas. Great, I was just thinking about getting me one of these. Now once we've given everybody their gifts, we can save it. <laughs> okay. I'd love to know everybody in the out. middle. Okay, waiting for me in the Great Tree Plaza. Nice day. If I can just say hi to everybody. And then I can go ahead and give them their presents. Okay. Only one more left after this. Cool. Now I can go ahead and give everybody their stuff. Because we had already talked to them earlier. Thank you. It's alright. You don't have to repay my kindness in turn. Luke. This is splendid. Made by hand. Went through such the effort. Platinum. And then also we can go ahead... Give him the cold medicine to complete the task. I just didn't want that to be considered his Christmas gift, because it so would have. Okay. Um. Boiled pumpkin. This is. Take this. Homemade. Boiled apple. Baked apple, I should say. Not boiled. I did. I did make it by hand. Okay, so the last people we have left <coughs> are Meg and Misa. Everybody else we should be good with. And then we go save it. And then we focus on watering our crops. Uh, 
Um, don't lock onto the small child. Please. Um, stop locking onto her. That's fine. I'll handle that when I get back. Okay, we're almost done with the presents. So the last one after this should be Meg. Done a lot sooner than everybody else. Hello. Or then, you know, we were initially... Big Tony Geary. Thank you, any gift from you is a special one. Ooh. Oh, I so wish she could have been romanceable. I would have 100% adopted Hina. Like, no questions asked. She's just a little sweetie. Man. Why can't that be an option? Okay. Almost there. Hello. Good. And we already had this conversation about Elsa's restaurant or Elsie's restaurant. And then a toy herb. Okay. That should be everybody. Yes, indeed it is. Um, let's go to my bedside. Just for good measure here. Okay. Alright. Um, let's get a few things just so you can take care of our garden and such. While I'm in here, though, I should probably put some stuff away. Um, oh god. I wasn't even aware. No, it doesn't even fit. Um. It's okay, I'll figure this out as it goes. Gotta be something I can get rid of in here at least. Maybe we can do the silver staff. Yeah, because I have a better dark staff. So yeah, at that point I might as well. Yeah. Okay. So then let's go ahead and put the crystal in its place for now. Um. Uh, yeah, because I mean, I guess I could always make another one. Um. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that should make that easier to ship, I guess. Yeah. Good, now I can get rid of the extra stuff. Okay, good. Now I can actually clean up my farm. Which is 100% what I wanted. So we can do that. Yay! I'm so happy I can just now focus on cleaning the farm. Okay. 
Okay. Um, I was like, where is that other pile that I know I just got rid of? Alright, let's... Cool. Even more stuff I can just throw in. Yeah, that works for me. Rid of you... Okay, and now I can just go ahead and go about this the normal way. So I wonder what other ways there are to increase... Hey, Saberwin! To increase the soil quality. Because there's got to be better options. And just using a four-leaf clover or some, uh, corn. Because it's not like I can do it on the same one with right, the right. trees. Uh, I keep accidentally just picking that up instead of equipping it. Yeah, I can see... Maybe green a fire? I mean, to me, that seems like the smartest idea. Yeah, we're cleaning up the the farm because we just had... We just ran around and gave everyone presents for Christmas. We didn't need to. They didn't give us anything. But I wanted to do, like, a little Santa Claus thing. So we did. We went ahead and gave everybody in town presents. Just because we wanted to. And that includes Doug and Margaret, who are just, like, visiting. They're not actually part of the town for, like, per yes. se. Yes. One, two, three. Yeah. And then at in-game 7 p.m., we have a date with our boyfriend. We're almost done with the story bits for him, too, to... Be able to marry him. Once those are done, we just build a double bed. Yes. And we've already got the engagement ring made. I'm less than 10% sure about what's going on. Eh, it's okay. Just know that there's a lot of people in town. Some of them are romanceable, some of them are not. And today is Winter 25, also known as Christmas in-game. No one gave any presents. We have a date at the big tree with our boyfriend at seven. We gave everyone presents. We didn't get any. And now we're clearing out our fields. In order to be able to marry someone in the game, you have to like meet certain requirements. And... You have to... One of those requirements is to finish out, um... Like a, a romance storyline with the person that you're dating. Nice. And then you can start getting the other requirements for that. Uh, so we're almost done with the storyline. But we do have one of the requirements that you're supposed to get after the storyline is over. So yeah! I hope that was broad enough to describe it. Because we need an engagement ring and a double bed. Not gonna lie, distracted by stupid people. Also fair. Also fair. It's okay. I'm, I'm just kind of like sitting on a bed of nerves today anyway. I'm still waiting to hear back whether or not I got the job that I just had that interview for. And I really want it because, first off, I think I'll really enjoy the work. But secondly, I want to be able to move out. And, like, go somewhere else. Not that I'm not thankful that I'm here, but... I want to finally be able to start, like, doing things with my own life. 
And that's just kind of what I feel like doing. Okay, so... Alright, I can say that I turned this in. Oh, I wanted the 5k instead. That's fine. Okay, anything else? Isn't the tree pretty? With all the lights on it? Okay, till an iron leaf. Harvest all non-golden vegetables. Harvest 50 apples. Ship a level 10. All right, let's go get some greenifier and see if we can uh, spruce up the place. So I think that would increase the health of the crops. Or the crop, uh, singular. Um. Oh no, did I do that already? I thought I had more than one. Yeah, these, by the way, super hard to get, uh, seeds. And I think what I should do, since it's winter and winter is about to end, I'm going to go ahead and get two of those and plant them somewhere special. Uh, let's go do the greenifier. How are you growing? There we go. Uh, growth rate is still 80%. Put a pin in that as I was going to ask about Rich. Fair. But given that the season 2 finale of SNW aired yesterday, ended with a two-parter cliffhanger, and one persona, a hate watcher, currently has powers and knows the future. Oof. I, God, well, what all have I been watching lately? Because it's mostly the same, like, couple anime. Yeah. And then also, um, I've been watching clips from, oh, God, what is it that I've been watching clips from? My Adventures with Superman. That's what I've been watching uh, clips of. Because I gotta sit down and actually watch it since I have uh, Max or HBO Max or whatever they're calling it. When I mocked him, oh god, no, of course. You've been prepping for Ashoka. That's that's kind of what I've been uh, mentally preparing more people to prep for. I've also been uh, re-watching Futurama because, no, we're not done. Not at all. Um, but I'm just tired of my, my medical problems, like, getting in the way of being able to, you know, like, part of the reason that we're still living where we are is because my medical problems kept getting in the way and I couldn't get, like, I still can't get a full-time job yet because... I have to go to so many doctor's appointments and such regularly. And so, like, I, I want to move on. I want to go get married. I want to, you know, actually be able to go forward with the next steps. But I can't do that as long as I have to keep going to constant doctor's appointments to see what's going on. Okay, I don't know how this works. I'd imagine a starfall crop would be large. There you go. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. I've been loving the new season, and the crypto updo has me rolling. See, I gotta watch... I still have to watch it, but I, I have heard fantastic things... There. ...about the crypto episode. Take that. I guess I could have just planted that. I didn't really need to... I love that she still has the, uh, yeah. the little monkey that I gave her for a shield. 
So yeah, it's kind of um, where like my brain and the whole thought process for us has been is just like health sucks. I've been going to doctor's appointments on and off regularly for three years. We've been putting off the wedding for almost three years because of it. And it's not just like an arbitrary reason for it either. Because it's not like, you know, I just want to close this chapter in my life before I move on thing. It's not that. It is literally that because of the, nice. the healthcare system, right. I have to continue to make a certain amount of money or less to be able to be covered by state insurance. And so if I get married, I have to go under his insurance and pay co-pays nice. for everything. All right. Which in and of itself isn't a problem. But when you are in constant, constant right. doctor visits, you either have to then, like, pick. You know, do, do I want to eat or do I want to pay my copay? So we're kind of trying to use the system as it stands because I don't have to pay nice. doctor or, um... I don't have to pay copays on stuff that's medically necessary, all which right. we had determined all of the stuff that I was doing already was. Nice, nice. All right. So like it, it definitely blows, but there's a reason we're doing it this way, and I don't want to have to keep relying on that method anymore. So, yes, reboot yes. episode heavily leans into the meta and continues the story after the last season finale. Won't say how, but the writing is as sharp as the first two runs. That's fantastic. I'm glad that it is. Four, five, six, eight, nine. All right. Nice. Because I heard that um, that episode three was like the nice emotional one that they did for the reboot, or as um, some people have been calling it. Uh, like the oh god the the hulu era is what they're calling it because you had the the fox era the comedy central era and then now you get the hulu era nice all right so much Tough. Nice. All right. Yes. 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 All right. Um, I think we split up here, kiddo. I get it. I just got a message from the my site group that I may have to set an appointment for November. Yep. Well, so that would be it, right? It would be like not not to say that like the the situation that you're in doesn't have its drawbacks because like obviously it's going to uh and that like right. things can get expensive All with right. it but that'd be fine if it was just like an occasional like doctor's visit every few months or something yes. Yes. but and now i'm still in the point where i have to do physical therapy like once a week uh we found out i don't have the family medical nice. problems my lungs are getting worse currently uh which is not great I'm just... I think I'm going to just leave these for right now, I guess. Because it looks like these guys are about to go gigantic again. So yeah, I'm just going to leave those. Um, no, I just saw them in May and they just messaged me for a follow-up in November. Yeah, see, like, that's... Oh, God, that's, that's annoying. That is... I know I have a follow-up with my pelvic pain doctor in November now, but still. Um... So yeah, my, now I'm having issues with my lungs and breathing, and we think that's setting things back, so I have to go see a lung doctor now. And then on top of that, I then have to go... Uh, like, I there's still a surgery that I want to get done, but we're trying to make the surgery as much like one-stop shop as we can. So that this way I can just go there and, like... Yeah, it, it really hasn't. Well, that now Selena has allergies. Or, well, asthma, I think we've determined. Yeah, asthma. We had to buy a super expensive air filter. Because none of us can breathe. And then both the cats got sick. And then I have to go to the doctor. 
for the lung thing, and then I have to, like, the surgery that I want to get done has the potential to have another surgery that I need to get done in it if they find anything, but they won't know if they find anything until they open me up. So I have to go see a specialist that handles specifically both of those things. And I might have to, you know, while I'm getting the one done, get the other one done. While there's also something that is on the docket that for, like, politics, that I'm not gonna, like, make this all about politics, but there's something that's on the docket that if it fails, um, the government could decide that uh, they don't want me getting the procedure done because technically it's a, um, like, technically it would prevent me from having kids, but it's something else that I desperately need for the other medical conditions that I have. But because it technically results in that, like, sterilization that it could... Like, if the thing in November doesn't pass, um, there's a chance that there could be follow-up uh, laws that make it so this way I can't get the surgery done ever. And I really need to get that surgery done. Yeah. So, like, there's, there's concerns that it could open some gates. So if I don't act on the surgery fast enough, I might not ever get it. So... Because technically I am unwed. Alright. It's time for our date. It's time for our nice Christmas date with our boyfriend. The god. Because we're dating a god. Who does kind of look a little bit like Tom Hiddleston. Not gonna lie. Alright. If memory serves, today we shall visit... Um, what, what do my notes say? We're going to Lake Melody, I think? Ah, yes. I wonder what sorts of exciting discoveries we will make today. I think we'll have plenty to look forward to, so let's go. Bro, with the car. Oh. The scenery from this vantage point is stunning enough during the day, but at night it appears equally breathtaking in a different fashion. Yeah, the sky and the lake are both glittering with stars. It's almost like we're walking across the surface of a star ocean. Star ocean the game? It's so pretty, though. Hmm? Oh? What's up, Lucas? Something wrong? <sighs> hmm. Um... Do I have something on my face? Ah, uh, pardon me. <laughs> the stars reflected in your eyes were so beautiful that I couldn't bear to look away. Ah! Or perhaps it was more accurate to say that your eyes accentuated their beauty. Oh. Ma chérie. Yeah. Please allow me a better look. Lift your chin. Now look me in the eye. My fiancé occasionally wants to know, like, what else he can do to be slightly more romantic, and I think what he just needs is to read this and take notes for about five minutes, because if he did any of this to me, I would turn into an absolute puddle on the floor and ask him if he's broken. Huh? Ah, hold on. Your face is getting awfully close to mine. Y'all two are dating! You're about to get married. Just let it be. <sighs> <sighs> I was simply trying to determine whether I find your eyes or the stars reflected in them more beautiful. <sighs> I I know that, but it's embarrassing when you stare at me so intensely. Oh, girl, get over it. I mean, I get it. I remember, like, being that kind of way when I was dating, but, like... <laughs> in that case, simply stare back into my eyes. Oh. If we gaze at each other long enough, any embarrassment will soon fail. <laughs> Honey, I mean, yes, but no. That is still not the issue here. Hmm? Um. Well, he was right about the embarrassment going away, but now my heart's racing for a whole other reason. Aww. You cuties. What's happening? Now's my chance. Chance for- what are we doing? What's happening? If I make the right move, this could be the turning point in our relationship. Here goes nothing. Um, 
Get closer. Hold hands. Pat on the head. Yes, I would love to just... Doo -doo. Is there a wrong answer? Poke in the cheek. Um, hold tight. Uh, just, just go for the holding. No. Uh. <clears throat> oh, dear. This could be a problem. Uh, why? Now that you've hugged me, I never want to let you go. Ah! <laughs> then I won't go let go either. <laughs> I see. Well, I guess we will simply have to stay this way forever. <laughs> oh. Unfortunately, though, it is about time that we parted ways, so please allow me to escort you to your door. Uh, can you stay with me a bit longer? Um... I, both of these are fantastic answers. I, I want the I want the at the door good night kiss. So, thank you. But of course, let's be on our way. Plus, he's the more practical of the two of us, anyway. I teach him how to be human, and then he becomes the more practical of us. <coughs> Sorry. This is where is all my furniture. <laughs> my dresser's gone. My storage unit's gone. My chemistry table's gone. Where is all my furniture? Thank you for walking me home. I had a lot of fun today. Indeed. I enjoyed learning so many new things about you that we simply must go on another date sometime soon. I'd be delighted to do that. I'm honored. Now then, fare thee well. Excuse me while I turn into a puddle on the floor. Hold on. Wait, my chemistry table's back, right? Okay, yeah, cool it is. You have a reputation for antics like this. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I would like to think that I'm this smooth, but I am so. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna up, I'm gonna elevate myself. I'm gonna say quirky. I'm so quirky that it sometimes just does not come out smooth, at all in any way. I've told girls that I'm lucky because I aim for the moon but landed among the stars. That their eyes are the jewels for me to stare into their souls. I mean... That does work, but yeah, no, it is... That might... That might be overkill. <laughs> See, because... The, the way that I go about it is I go for, like, the subtle compliments that slowly elevate and build. But, like, I do, I do a stack. Right? Where I don't just go for one, but I'll, like, pick a couple and just kind of go. Because, like, not that I am critiquing your style. Everyone has their own unique style for flirting. But for me, I find that when I, I compliment... <laughs> fair. Um, but I find that when I compliment something that they, like, care about or that they're passionate about or that they put time or effort into, I feel like it goes a lot farther. Because, like, think about it... Think about it like you're somebody who is nervous. Like, going on a first few dates, right? And thinking about the person later that night is going to make your heart kind of just flutter and beat out of your chest. What is the thing that's going to, like you know, stick with you. Like, yeah, like the eyes, you're like, oh yeah, he thought my eyes were beautiful, like those kinds of things, which will definitely help if she is someone who is like self-conscious about the color of her eyes. But if you go with like, he noticed that I put a lot of effort into my makeup or, you know, he mentioned how, how much like it means to him to see me get excited when I feel like I'm oversharing about something. Like, like those kinds of things. I try to pick for stuff that, like, helps. I also make girls blush and tell them they're cuter when they blush. I've, I've done that, and I've been there. <laughs> but yeah, like, I try to instead um, just give them something that they hold on to later. And, like, keep it in a nice, like, little kind of jar in the back pocket kind of thing. For them to think about, like, later. Like, oh, no, here I go, oversharing again. You know, people don't like when I do that. Except the person I went on that date with. 
They they loved when I overshared. They loved when I got excited and I talked about these things. Like, you know, something that elevates them later. Not just, like, for my personal usage, if that makes any sense. Um, what am I doing? Okay, so... Oh! All the girls are out there now. So let's go see if they have any group conversations. <coughs> Sorry. Because everybody's out and about. Most women I date aren't self-assured. Yeah. I, yeah. I know that feeling. <laughs> um, I often think they're not attractive, so my task is to show them that they are. Probably, I'm guessing, because I'm they don't so meet uh, conventional beauty standards. Um, good. 